Hello everyone. Welcome to DS6 Incorporation. Today, I am going to discuss about the structure of hard disk drive, which is commonly abbreviated as HDD. Hard disk drives are the secondary storage device for any computer system and act as permanent storage for the computer system. Let's watch the next part of this video, and then, I will explain in details. The hard drive has been the main storage device in computers for decades now. Do you ever wonder what's on the inside? Hard drives are sealed so that no dust can get inside. Once you take yours apart, it most likely will not work anymore. The platters is where the information is stored. Both the top and the bottom of each platter is used so it can store as much information as possible. The actuator arm is how it reads and writes information. They never actually touch the platters, but you need a microscope to actually see that. It moves so fast that the human eye will have trouble keeping up with it. The platters are split up into tracks, and each track is split up into sectors. When you read or write to the hard drive, the actuator arm must find the right track, and the platters must rotate so the right sector is underneath the arm. It only takes a few milliseconds for this to happen. This may seem fast, but compared to newer technologies, this is much slower. In recent years, the hard drive is being replaced by the SSD, also known as the solid state drive. These have no moving parts on the inside, which means they are faster, smaller, and use less power. However, SSDs are still a lot more expensive than hard drives. How long before the hard drive is obsolete? Only time will tell. Now, let's see the structure of the hard disk drive in details. The traditional hard disk drive can have the following basic structures. A hard disk drive can have one or more platters. These platters are made of a non-magnetic rigid material, usually aluminum alloy, glass, or ceramic. And they are coated with a shallow layer of magnetic media material. Each platter has two working surfaces. These surfaces of the platters hold the recorded data. A typical HDD design consists of a spindle motor that holds flat circular platters. Spindle motor plays an important role in hard drive operation by turning the hard disk platters. A spindle motor must provide stable, reliable, and consistent turning power for many hours of continuous use. Many hard drive failures occur due to spindle motor not functioning properly. Each working surface of the platter is divided into a number of concentric rings, which are called tracks. The collection of all tracks that are the same distance from the edge of the platter is called a cylinder. The data on a hard drive platter 
is read by read right heads of read right arm. The read right arm is also known as actuator. Each on a separate read right arms are controlled by a common arm assembly, which moves all heads simultaneously from one cylinder to another. Now, let's see, the structure of, the platter, in details. In order to get maintain, the organized storage, and, retrieval of data, the platters, are organized into, specific structures. These specific structures of platter, includes, tracks, sectors, and, clusters. Therefore, let's give you the idea, about the details of platter structure. So, now, let's see, the structure of, platter, in details. Each platter, is broken into, thousands of, tightly packed concentric circles, known as, tracks. These tracks, resemble the structure of annual rings of a tree all the information stored on the hard disk is recorded in tracks starting from zero at the outer side of the platter the number of tracks goes on increasing to the inner side each track can hold a large amount of data counting to thousands of bytes Each track, is further broken down into, smaller units, called, sectors. As sector, is the basic unit of data storage, on a hard disk, each track has the same number of sectors. Which means, that the sectors, are packed much closer together, on tracks near the, center of the disk. A single track, typically can have, thousands of sectors. The data size, of a sector, is always a power of 2, and, is almost always, either 512 or 4096 bytes. Sectors are, often, grouped together, to form clusters. A cluster, is the smallest possible unit, of storage, on a hard disk. If contiguous clusters are, not available, then, the data is written elsewhere, on the disk, and, the file is, considered to be fragmented. A spindle motor, holds flat circular platters. The data, on a hard drive platter, is read by read-write heads, of read-write arm, or, actuator. With the help of spindle, platter, starts rotating. And, the actuators, moves up and down, to read, or write the data, from the desire sector, of a cluster, of a track. So, for, this video, this is all about platter, track, cluster, and, sector. Now, suppose, I want to listen a music, what will happen with, platter, track, 
cluster, and sector. Let's enjoy that part of animation with a music track. Thank you, for watching this video. Please, like, share, and subscribe, to my YouTube channel. For any question or query, comment, in the comment section below.